Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday afternoon. It's about 12.30 on Monday, uh, coming from Tucson, Arizona. I hope you guys are having a great, actually, first day of November as well, November 1st. So anyway, so this afternoon, let's talk about brew temperature, okay? Uh, I mean, if you guys are following it for a long time, we talk about everything about coffee, okay? That's all we do, okay? We talk about coffee and different coffee recipes, and I felt like we haven't, I felt like I haven't covered the water temperature much. So you know what, uh, let's deep dive into water temperature. So why you wanna change your water temperature? So, so I think water temperature, okay, don't get, me, don't get me wrong. I'm not a true expert at this, but if you got the, if you got the grinder size dialed in, okay, you got the dosing amounts dialed in as well. You got the dosing amounts right, grinder size right, but whatever reason your shot is, sour or bitter and now you are a good time to start playing with temperature okay which means sour means you uh, your shot is somewhat under uh, under uh, extracted bitter means over okay so bitter or sour you can also fix that through your dosing amount uh, no, not the dosing am amount but the grinder size obviously the finer the grinder size you can do uh, you can get better extraction obviously coarser is the opposite so again, if you, you did everything right, grinder size correct, you got the uh, 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 dosing amounts right, but whatever reason your shot is a sour or bitter, and now we are going to play with the water temperature. So by the way, if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome to our daily live streaming. Uh, we go live like you know some uh, early in the morning around eight o'clock, and then between like twelve and two on some. Uh, weekdays on afternoon as well again uh welcome to our live streaming and uh, just make sure to press like better yet subscribe this channel okay so unfortunately people you got if you guys have like bravo Beast express or pro you only have a few options plus two plus four minus two minus four but like motion like uh so this is a quick mirror vitrano dual boiler with the pid so motion like this I, I guess anything with PID, you can change your temperature by one degree. Okay? So right now, 261 is at my steam, uh, steam, uh, milk steamer. Okay, steamer pressure uh, temperature there. So second number is the 189. Actually, I said a 190 for this. Okay, so hold on, let me show you. Temperature I said a 190 for the brew temperature. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna we are going to put two shots, okay? One with 190, and after that uh, we are going to put another shot with uh, 200. Hold on a second, you're gonna see. Yep, now we are temperature at 190. So so let's uh, two shot. We are I'm I'm using the medium roast uh, this afternoon. It's gonna be naughty and chocolatey. It's gonna be should be good. Okay, I'm gonna be dosing out 18 gram, and then we are ready to go. We got 18 gram ready to go, and let's pull the shot. Okay, so let's see what they look like, and better yet, what tastes like. Okay, I'm gonna change my viewing angle for you guys. Here we go. Uh, comes to grinder size, so this is DF64. I'm using it, and the grinder size about seven or so. Okay. We are dosing out 18 gram here. Just make sure I have this brush with all the coffee grinds out. Okay, let's do some puck prep. So 
So again, uh, we are we're gonna start with a hundred and ninety degree of Fahrenheit for this coffee, and then we are going to try this, and then we are going to do everything. The everything is the same, and then followed by we're gonna up by ten degree. Okay, so I'm I know I'm somewhat go extreme here, but because I do want to see the the taste in difference in that ten degree difference in flavor. It should be big. Okay. In the meantime, I'm playing it. I'm using the puck screen. All right, here we go, guys. I got 18 in. Let's do again. Uh, 18 in around 36 gram out. Come to shot time, uh, trying to be under like 25 and 30 second range there. Okay, here we go. So here's a shot time. Okay, we are at 20 seconds. Okay. I was hoping for a little more but extraction, but you know what? I'm gonna do the exactly same thing for the next shot for the consistency. Okay, I'm not gonna change the grinder setting. Okay. So that's a 20 second shot. So let's find out. Let's find out the Okay, here we go. By the way, if you're new to the channel, make sure to uh, join the chat, okay? We have a great group of friends right now. Uh, live chat going on right now, okay? I know 25 of you watching this. But yeah, just make sure to join the chat. You know, uh, pretty much that's all we do. Uh, luckily, I'm not that busy at work today, so. Okay, not bad. Smells pretty good. You know what? Hold on a second. Uh, I, I need to start changing the temperature right now, okay? I need to change the temperature to... Oh. We're going to go up to 200, okay? It's going to take uh, about a few minutes to go. And then... Uh, so this machine, changing temperature is so easy. Just a couple buttons, that's it. Okay. Just going to stir it. Cheers and happy November. Okay. Here we go. Okay, it's definitely sour, okay? Yep, definitely sour. By the way, someone's calling me right now, but I should take that phone call, but I think I'm going to take that later. Okay. Okay, it's sour, it's not that great, okay? Okay, so, uh, let's wait till temperatures go up to 200, and then let's put another shot, okay? Now we, we're at 199, yeah, so we are almost there at 200. So, let's do one more. Yeah, so this definitely is sour shot. We're going to do exactly the same thing here. Identical shot, same grinder size, except the water temp. 10 degree, hotter. Okay. I'm just gonna flush out a little. If you haven't used a puck screen yet, make sure to try the puck screen, okay? Highly recommend it. I'm just gonna clean up my puck screen. Okay, let's go for the second shot. Oh, 
Uh, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to our daily live streaming. So I'm using the DF64. I have to say, this is not bad for price, okay? Pretty good. Uh, what I like to do is I like to get a little brush clean up here all right let's give her one more now temperature is up to speed Let's go on a quick WDT. Yeah. Uh, I'm using a temper from Brista Hustle. So water temperature is about 10 degrees hotter than last shot, guys. Okay. 10 degrees hotter. So hopefully we're gonna get a better extraction. Okay, here we go. The shot number two. Trying to shoot for 36, 37 gram. This time about 21 seconds there. I think we can go even longer, okay? I think we might do that one more time, guys. But again, but this time, it's gonna be identical as the last one, exact same grinder size. And then uh, grinder size. The only thing difference is, but so this shot was 190 uh, Fahrenheit. So this shot was 200 Fahrenheit. So 10 degree difference. I mean, it looks really good too. Okay, fantastic. So last shot was a little sour. Okay, actually, it's a lot sour than last time. Cheers. Okay. Okay, much better, okay? Much better there. Right temperature, temperature is great. Still very balanced. Okay, so, okay, so based on that, okay, based on the grinder setting, I think I should even go finer setting, but just temperature alone, okay, huge difference in that sourness. So the first shot was really sour, it's not drinkable, okay, but second one, even the exactly same grinder setting size, but the, the temperature actually bring up the even more. You know what? Okay, so here's what I'm thinking about doing. Okay, instead of, since we are talking about the brew temperature here, you know what, let's go, you know what, just for fun. Okay, let's do, so 190. So this shot was 200. Uh, let's go, you know what, let's go 210. Okay, we'll see. Okay, instead of a change in grinder size, let's focus on the brew temp. Okay, so right now we are at 200. So let's go 210. Why not? Okay, let's do that. So let's change the temperature. So we're gonna go another 10 degree. Okay, so you got 190, 200, and 210. So, so let's find out what kind of coffee we're gonna get out of it. Okay, so second shot was pretty decent. So let's do one more time. Let's go one more here. Okay. 
Okay, let's get some coffee beans out here. Okay. Let's do another 18 gram. By the way, if a coffee is your hobby, goodness, I can spend all day talking about this. Okay. Okay, right now we are, yep. 18 gram there. Okay, so let's dye some coffee beans. Again, we are doing the exact same coffee grinder size as well. Same grinder size. The only thing we are changing is the uh, water temperature. fast here there we go I'm gonna hit up my puck screen one more time So again, we are using DF64 as our coffee grinder, so which means 64 millimeter flat burr. There's some little bit of WDT. Okay, now we are at 197 right now. As a temperature wise, we need to go up to 210. Okay, hold on. Let's make sure we do it right here. Yep, 210. Hopefully the temperature should go up. We're at 196. So we are just waiting game at the moment. We have to, again, so comes to the brew temp we switch the 210, just make sure I have the you know, water. One ninety five. Okay, we are just waiting for another minute or so. Okay. Yep. Temperature is going up here. We are at 190. Hold on. There we go. Unfortunately, it comes to so this so we're using the 110 here volts. Obviously, if you have the if you have a 220 setup at home, man, so much faster. Okay, there's so much. So anyway, uh, so let's. By the way, make sure press like on the video. Okay, and let's see. We got a big shout out. We got uh, we got some friends again. We got 38 of you watching right now. We only have of people are chatting. So join the chat. Make sure you introduce yourself. I mean, we have great people of coffee lovers. Now we're at 211. Okay. So temperature is up to speed. It wasn't that, that long, wasn't it? Maybe like what? Not even a minute. Okay, bring out the temperature, so works pretty good. So let's finish it preparing the puck. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
we're going to do the, exactly the same thing okay so now we are ready for shot right now lock it in uh, one to two ratio okay here we go guys let's give it a one more try That looks really good. Shrimp for one thirty six, thirty seven gram. Okay, twenty one seconds. Okay, so this is the last shot. Okay, so first shot was 190. Last one was two, 200. This is 210, okay. So let's find out. Cheers, guys. Okay, much better, okay, much better. I think this is the best shot one yet. Okay, so I know, okay, I hear you guys, okay. I know this shot is still fast, about 20 to 21 seconds. So that's not the point of this, uh, this video so far. We're talking about the uh, brutal temperature. So you got 190, one, uh, 200, and 210. Is there any difference in the flavor profile? Yes, okay, huge. So next thing I gotta do is I need to change the grinder size, okay? Uh, hold on a second here. Someone mentioned about the video is lagging. It might be lagging, okay? It's about the, our internet is not the best here in Tucson, in my office. It is a little lagging, but I mean, that's, that's live streaming. So, uh, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do one more time, okay? We are, let, let's put on another shot, okay? Let's put on another shot. So this time I'm gonna stick with the 210. And then I'm gonna change my grinder size. So let's, uh, let's pull the shot. Okay, let's pull the shot with 210 as a, a water temperature and change the uh, grinder size and I, I like to be between like 25 and 30 seconds rather than 21 second shot there so it, let's make that a little longer extraction okay okay let's do that we're gonna make a little longer and then we should be able to dial in this coffee uh, the thing is I want to get rid of this coffee so I don't mind using it right now. Okay, let's do another 18 gram here. So this coffee is roasted on, let's See, September 25th it's about you know it's about six weeks old so again uh, I highly recommend puck screen I'm gonna put the link down below I'm done with this okay. I'm just gonna clean it up here okay so now we need to figure out the grinder size Okay, so right now I'm just gonna about two notch finer, okay? A little finer here. And see what kind of shot we're gonna get. Oh just the grinder size. Okay. 
so this is our number four so this should be good okay this shot should be should be right uh, dialed in properly Let's lock it in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go, guys. So it's distributor. Okay, I'm just gonna. Again, 36 gram here. Okay, we are at 30 seconds. 37 gram. So we are just about right. Okay, just about right. So this is more medium rose, so you're not gonna see really dark stripe, but yeah. So let's give that one a shot. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's give it a shot. So this shot should be, should be dialed in just right. Cheers. Okay, here we go. That's it. Okay. It's not bad. I think that's the best shot yet. So, obviously the water temperature does matter, but uh, so, and the fact is when do you use the, ch so when is the ideal time to change your water temperature? So if you don't everything, right? You got the, you got the grinder size right, you got the extraction, extraction time right, okay? And then you got the dosing amount right. And then whatever reason, something's quite missing, okay? And then you can actually use the water temperature to, you know, make your shot, you know, better, like, you know, refine it. Okay. But the fact is, I mean, I don't know. I mean, being realistically, how often you get to play with this? I mean, I don't know. I mean, how many of you out there you can actually spend, you know, 20, 30 minutes every single morning dialing your espresso? I mean, not, you know, I, I'm, I do have time, so that's why I'm making these videos. But, you know, in reality, man, I, I don't know. I mean, is, is that practical? No, I just waste four shots right now. I don't want to say waste four shots, okay? So, I mean, so, so that was, so this one is 190, 200. 210 so this is the 210 with uh, right grinder size okay so I mean you have to love coffee to do something like that okay how many of you out there I mean how, how many of you I mean how many how many of you are out there you know you you don't mind spending you know time and money to dial in just right again okay. So here's what I'm gonna do with all these shots. And the fact is, I don't waste coffee in this channel, okay? So what I usually do is, I have my neighbors here, and then I usually mix it up with, uh, whatever leftover coffee is, I mix it up with milk and sugar. I just kind of like, you know, give it to my uh, buddy next door. He loves it, you know. Even though, you know, he doesn't mind, I'm sipping it and give it to him, so yeah. He, yeah, he doesn't care. Anyway, so, that, so that's what I usually do, but again, um, as long as you put milk and sugar in it, tastes great. But if you have, I mean, if you really want to dial in just right, this is a, there's no shortcut. I wish I can tell you guys if you are using DF64, DF64, if you are using medium roast, you know, uh, grinder setting should be this and that, water temperature. But there's no magic number, so unfortunately, there's something you have to figure out for yourself. Okay. Anyway, I, I hope this video helps. Make sure to press like on the video 
And uh, if you have any questions or comment, okay, I'm gonna jump into Instagram right now. Okay, so join us on Instagram. And also, uh, let's see what else. Uh, if you guys are looking for fellow coffee products, okay, which means fellow stack or all their wonderful products, I have the link down below. Okay, I'm part of their affiliate program. So whenever you guys wanna buy fellow, make sure you click my link, okay, to the uh, fellow products. And then whatever discount you guys have for the, you know, whatever coupon code, use that code, okay? I know so, uh, once in a while they offer this kind of code, but just make sure you use my link. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday afternoon and also happy November. We only have two months left, okay? So uh, again, join me on Instagram, okay? It's a lot of fun, guys. Don't be shy about it. Uh, yeah, again, don't be shy. All right, see you guys on Instagram right now.